Is Elon Musk trying to buy Mercedes? Watch this video until the end as I uncover the truth about the issue. Welcome to Elon Musk era. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and more. Does Tesla have the potential to build an EV empire? There is speculation that Tesla is secretly planning to acquire a major company. According to reports, Elon Musk directed Tesla to purchase luxury car maker Daimler AG, which owns Mercedes-Benz, to compete with larger competitors like General Motors and Volkswagen. And if this holds, Tesla's acquisition of Solar City would make it one of the biggest acquisitions since it paid $2.6 billion for the solar company last year. Unsurprisingly, such a deal would have a dramatic impact on Tesla's future, but not everyone is convinced from what they have heard so far. With this, let's take a look at what we know so far and how it might affect the EV market share in North America and abroad. It is no secret that Tesla has grown rapidly in the last few years into the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer. Despite being less than two decades old, it has already taken over the leadership position of traditional automobile manufacturers. Furthermore, Tesla's eccentric CEO, Elon Musk, indicated that they intend to acquire German automaker Mercedes-Benz soon in a recent television interview. However, is Tesla capable of purchasing Mercedes-Benz? And there is no doubt that it has distinguished itself as an automobile company whose reputation has been sustained worldwide. So, is Tesla going to gain anything from the deal? Or is it just more speculation making the rounds among the Tesla Rotties? This and much more is what we will discuss in this video, along with how Tesla's merger with Mercedes will affect the automobile market. Several factors have paved the way for Tesla to acquire Mercedes-Benz, and one of them is Tesla's outrageous market capitalization. When it comes to market capitalization in the automotive industry, Tesla has become the global leader. Currently, Tesla is the largest company on the market with a valuation of over $1 trillion. In joining the Trillion Dollar Club, the revolutionary car maker was the first automobile company to join global giants such as Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Saudi Arabian Oil, and Google. Then, this is due to the following the announcement that Hertz was buying 100,000 EVs from Tesla. Tesla's capitalization reached $1 trillion on October 25, 2020. Also, Tesla shares increased 10% after the announcement. Although the number of vehicles sold by Tesla relative to how many are sold has left many bewildered, the discussion regarding Tesla's market capitalization has left many confused. As of 2020, Tesla sold 500,000 cars and raised its market capitalization to a trillion, while Toyota sold 19 times as many cars and Toyota's market capitalization still only reached a quarter of Tesla's. Also, there is no other company that is worth as much as this dynamic EV manufacturer. Only three other companies have reached $100 billion in market capitalization. Further, Clean Technica reported that in the third quarter of 2021, Tesla exceeded the U.S. sales of traditional automakers including Mercedes, Lexus, Audi, and BMW. This was no small feat since Tesla is the only electric car company to have largely overtaken premium automobile brands in the United States. Nevertheless, they did not stop there. Then, in 2021, Tesla reported that it sold over 900,000 units, an increase of 87% from last year's sales. Further, Mercedes-Benz parent company, Daimler, occupies only the seventh position in the former list with its $89 billion in the capital. Having less than 10% of Tesla's market share is the second reason that Tesla could potentially acquire Daimler if it so chooses. It is nothing short of marvelous how a young startup has supplanted an established market leader who turns a century old in just over four years. Furthermore, when we discuss a capital reduction, you might find it interesting to know that things could have gone differently if Daimler hadn't made a specific move in 2014. Later, in 2009, Mercedes invested $50 million in Musk's struggling automobile startup to take a 9% stake. In recognition of this huge investment, Tesla made Daimler a board member. As a result, the German automaker sold off part of this massive investment, leaving Mercedes-Benz with only a 4% stake in Tesla. It is surprising to note that Mercedes had made a poor investment decision regarding their 4% stake and divested it for $718 million in 2014. Assuming Daimler had held on to its Tesla shares, the value of the share would be around $100 billion today, 
which would be around the entire market value of Mercedes-Benz. While Ford is catching up to this trend, electric vehicles seem to have taken over the market. By the end of the decade, Tesla will be the largest automobile manufacturer, even in terms of sales. This does not change Musk's respect for the German automaker. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, once said that Daimler used to be able to lead the world in sustainable mobility and lithium-ion battery technology. Furthermore, they launched a subsidiary company called the Deutsche Accumotive GmbH to manufacture and market batteries for hybrid and electric vehicles. Nevertheless, we all knew how it went as Tesla is among the leading batteries companies. And it isn't the first time Mercedes and Tesla have collaborated, as Mercedes supplies the highly efficient battery packs used in the Tesla Model S. With Tesla's battery packs and charging technology, transforming it into the luxury sedan that it is. Moreover, Musk had stated at a joint press conference with Mercedes-Benz that the partnership will speed up the production of the Tesla Model S and ensure that it is a stellar vehicle when it is released. However, even this short-term partnership was fruitful since it saw the intermingling of two very different cultures. The old German emphasis on safety and long-term control and the new generation of forward-thinking vehicles as a part of Daimler's electric A-Class and B-Class cars. Tesla also supplied the electric powertrains before the disinvestment in 2014. Next, the ease with which Musk can acquire Mercedes-Benz has led to this belief. As long as the company is not intending to increase its outstanding shares by over 20%, Tesla is not required to ask for shareholders' approval. In simpler terms, Tesla can purchase a company worth up to $200 billion without obtaining any permission. It is not surprising that Daimler may be acquired by Tesla because things have changed very rapidly in the automotive industry. Also, this fast-growing Silicon Valley automotive giant is a threat to traditional German automakers. Well, this isn't a fake. Robert Lutz, more commonly known as Bob Lutz, is a known name in the industry. Lutz has led a string of Detroit-based auto companies. Most recently, Lutz served as the executive vice president and board member of Ford Motor Company as well as serving as vice chairman and board member of both Chrysler and General Motors. As we knew, Musk recently won the FT's Person of the Year award for the second consecutive year. She also spoke about the initial naysayers of Tesla who got involved after the company acquired huge shares from established auto giants. Lutz was one of those naysayers who have morphed since he had proclaimed, at some point in time, that Tesla has no technology advantage, no software advantage, no advantage in battery life, no advantage whatsoever. Having dismissed Tesla so directly that he told me it was a company that was doomed, well, here we are. What's interesting about all of this is that the person who claimed Tesla's share price was a phase was found to claim Musk's impact on the auto industry to be unbelievable, to say the least. Also, he said BMW and Mercedes are endangered by Tesla. In addition, a few reasons clearly explain why the leading German automobile companies are scared Additionally, Tesla cars are leading in both the US and European markets. In the past, Tesla cars were imported from China and the US to Europe, giving some space to German manufacturers. And by setting up a production plant in their home country, Tesla could produce electric vehicles with greater efficiency. Additionally, the Gigafactory project will not only help Tesla reduce production costs and time, but will also attract German manufacturing talent. With Tesla's rapidly increasing prominence, who wouldn't enjoy the tempting incentives it provides, right? Further, at an Axel Springer event in Berlin, Musk hints at the possibility of taking over a German manufacturer. He said that they will not attempt a hostile takeover, and Musk said they would have this conversation if anyone suggested merging with Tesla. And Musk was probably referring to Mercedes-Benz when he referred to a possible merger. Although BMW would be a good alternative, its family ownership makes it unlikely to be acquired. In addition, Mercedes and Tesla's potential partnership could be lucrative for Tesla. Tesla would not only increase its production by up to four times, but Daimler's image as a high-quality luxury car manufacturer would also improve Tesla's reputation in the newer markets in Asia and Europe. Will there be more deals to come? Only time will tell. In the meantime, let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below. That's all for this video about Tesla's plan to buy Mercedes, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on Elon Musk and his companies, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.